How's it changed for you this week getting a, a different quarterback ready to go? Uh, same game plan. We got to go out and execute. Got to win uh, the turnover battle. We got to win third downs. Got to move the ball. Um, our offense doesn't change, and we got to go out and revise, just like any of us would do if any of our networks or businesses or anything else, you went out sick for two weeks or three weeks or whatever. They're not going to just fold up shop and take off. Practice wise, though, does it alter kind nothing of changes? Nothing. What's your advice to? to these two quarterbacks right now, Taylor Alley and Braxton Burmeister? Uh, go out and prepare like you have, uh, you know, coming into camp and since you've been here. Um, get yourself acclimated with what they do on defense. Um, our preparation doesn't change. To be successful at this game, you got to prepare every day. got to go out today and have a good idea what they're doing on normal downs, what things look like. Um, try to get a speed of the game to you as fast as you can. And uh, they both got their feet wet last week. I mean, Justin went out in 21 plays. It's not like those guys came in with two plays left. So. Um, we've got a chance to go out and do some great things. I'm excited about seeing, having the opportunity for these guys to go out there and, and, and work through it. You mentioned you had to adjust on the fly in the game when he goes out so early. What do you guys do this week in terms of adjusting game plans for, for these guys now that you have a week to kind of get them ready? Uh, again, I, I, we're going to do things that they're going to get in terms of our offense. We're going to revise that stuff, refine it, go out there and do what we do. Do you notice any different demeanor in Braxton Sunday or, or since then? Is he carrying himself any different knowing that now the red shirt's off and he's, he's definitely going to be in the mix? No, I think uh, Braxton's done a good job since uh, since camp coming in and, and competing. And um, I think he, we've, be, we've made each other and we made the room very aware. Um, you know, I've been doing this a long time. All it takes is one play, and there it is. And that's come to, that's come to, come to, come to fruition. And, and so we move forward. I think uh, I stay on those guys a lot during the course of uh, practice the last four weeks when maybe they weren't in the spotlight and, and made sure they're locked in, and uh, this is why. Is Taylor the clear starter, or is Braxton competing for the job? That's not clear at all. Yeah, no, that's not clear at all, Aaron. Is that a thing that will be decided throughout this week, then, what you see? Yeah, that will be out throughout, throughout the week, and that's going to be something Coach Taggart's going to probably address uh, with you guys more than I will. Is there a chance you could juggle both of them, just have different packages for each of them, play them both? Sure, I think there's a chance for that. That could happen. What, sure. what do you guys miss most with, with Justin out at the quarterback spot? Well, experience. Plain and simple. You, there's no there. You can't put you can't put a a, a, a price on that. Experience is huge. Ryan Bay got his first catch of the year last week. What have you seen out of him this year? Bay got two catches last last week. Uh, did an awesome job. He's gone out and worked hard every week, man. Um, done a great job, and excited about him continuing to get better this week. Do you see a difference in Alley in the second half? I mean, he comes in on the quick change and then kind of has half time. Did it seem like a little bit of time when it kind of he realized he was in there that the second half kind of slowed down a little bit for him? Yeah, I think I think just like anything else, you get, you get to go out there and kind of just uh, get the dust off and relax a little bit and go out there and play. Mark, hey, Rock? During the spring, Taylor was obviously bouncing back and forth between receiver and quarterback, and you didn't get a whole lot of time with him in the summer because the rule was so – even though he had kind of a, not a whole lot of time to prepare for the job, it seemed like he took over number two spot fairly quickly in this in the summer. What was that about? Was he just that experience going back to playing here for three years, or what? Uh, yeah, I job? think maybe a little more experience. I think he just did things. Uh, you know, he went right away, slipped him in right away, and then Braxton came right away. I don't know if it was even a, as clear cut as it may have seen when you just go ones and twos. I mean, we, we trust both those guys to go in and get the job done. As soon as he went down, Braxton was ready to roll and went in. And there we go. I mean, uh, I don't know if there's anything that really sets them truly that far apart. Lutley had said that uh, Braxton seems so much more comfortable, obviously, now. He came in one week before spring break, spring ball begins. Where do you see that comfort showing through the most right now with Braxton? Well, I think I, with Braxton, as, as a perfect example for us, I mean, just an opportunity to get out there and get a, get a head start for anybody, you know, just get more snaps, more college reps, more more uh, opportunities to be out there with the guys at this level uh, will give you more confidence.